So folks, it's um, almost half past seven and our Roomba, uh, we've set to come on at half past seven every morning. And there it is, dead on time. Is that magic? You don't have to move, Toby. <laughs> You're really going to have to move, Toby. It's done uh, a nest pattern in this half of the room because it's got a map now and it divides the room into two so it's doing uh, the second half of the room now so it's got a map of the two rooms it's done uh, one half first and now it's doing the other half which is good. So I've got the blue light on now, which means it's going back to dock. So as I said, I'm not box facing in video. I actually got the correct uh, amount of space that it recommends but as you can see <laughs> and as you see it can get back to its base okay so we didn't do a comparison um, between our new Roomba and our old Roomba. So first of all, just looking at the char charging station, obviously um, the old Roomba charging dock uh, is tiny compared to the new one because of course the new one is self-emptying. So we're going to do a quick comparison of the um, new Roomba and our old Roomba. Um, but first of all, I just want to say we've now had the new Roomba for a full week. It's been on seven times. And the main difference, I would say, is that with the new Roomba, we have had zero maintenance, zero intervention. We've basically not touched it for a week. Um, it comes on every morning, it vacuums the rooms, it goes back to base, and that's it. Whereas with the old one, um, we had to empty the bin every time we put it on. Um, we had to retrieve it when it got stuck. The other one's never got stuck. We've had to help it over the rug. The other one's got over the rug with no problem. And every few times that the old Roomba's been on, we've taken the brushes out because yeah. they've been covered in um, hair and cotton and things. Long and hair and cotton. Clean them. Yeah, I get trapped up very easily don't in the old Roomba brushes. Yeah, yeah. The new one, nothing. <laughs> it's just absolutely fantastic. It is, you know, what I would want in a robot 
it goes and does its job. Mm. You do, you forget about it. Mm. So now talking about specific differences between the old Wumba and the new Wumba. So I would firstly, obviously, you've got automatic dirt disposal, which is absolutely fantastic. Where's this one? You have to empty the bin yeah. every single time. So that totally cuts you out of the process and it's fantastic. And also it's been, it's cleaned the room seven days, hasn't it? And um, it's not had to be emptied yet, the main bin. The main bin that it's... Uh, uh, I don't know how many... Empties into. I don't know how many times it's going to empty before you actually have to mm. empty it. Mm. But um, I'll and we have a date small on dog. that in the future. We have a small dog as well, so mm. it picks up a lot of dog hairs. Yeah. So the second thing is the rollers. The Aero Force cleaning system. Mm. Instead of uh, brush rollers. Huge difference, yeah. Mm. So what would you say on the difference with the rollers? Um, well, nothing gets, seems to get trapped on them. Cotton, hair, dog hair, it just doesn't seem to get trapped on them. And uh, it gets it into the bin. And it just doesn't get um, <clears throat> tangled up like this where you've got cotton and long. Yeah, so you basically, no maintenance. Mm. Mm. Or much less maintenance. Well, up to now, no maintenance. Up to I now, mean, no maintenance. yeah. So the next yeah. difference we're going to talk about is the roller. So you're talking about sensors now. Mm -hmm. So on the new one, it's solid black. Solid black, yeah. And on the old one, it's black and white. So th this is effectively a sensor. It's got an infrared uh, transmitter and receiver underneath, so it can pick up the rotation and use that for. I suppose determining distance or determining if it's moving or not. So this is the old one, and this... so why why do you think they don't need that sensor well, on the new one? We've got a range of new sensors on here, and one of them is this, which I only noticed this morning. Now, it's obviously looking down at the floor. Uh, what I'm, is it? I don't know if it's an infrared transmitter and receiver, and that's the way it picks up movement, or I really don't know yet. I'm going to have to read the manual or look on on YouTube. But possibly. That's taken the place of the black and white. Possibly, but I don't know. Yeah, but we don't know for sure yet. And, the, and uh, these infrared transmitter and receivers around the edge. There's two more on the new rumba, and the, mm. there's on the old rumba. Uh, mm. There's this sensor here. I think it's a sensor. This is the most intriguing one. I've never seen anything like this. It's a small soft brush, and I would assume it's connected to something like a a piezo disc underneath, and it can pick up when this is touching something. Maybe, but I don't, I'm just guessing there. I've mm. never seen anything like that before. Okay, uh, so turning the um, two vacuum cleaners over now. Okay, the face uh, in the front. The old vacuum had um, a handle at the front, a big handle, and this one seems to just have that seems like a very small handle. I wasn't even sure if this was Not a handle sure yet. A handle. <laughs> so I don't know if that, that's because you don't actually have to carry it around. Because <laughs> it's so clever. Because uh, we've not had to touch it. It is clever, yeah. yeah so it it yeah. seems to be more uh, mm. intelligent, you, you mm. might say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, big feature, camera looks at the ceiling um, for... Uh, I suppose points that are, don't vary and that helps it in the mapping and location of where it is on the map. Obviously, the old rumba doesn't have that system at all. So I think those are the main differences, aren't they? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's it for our uh, review of this um, new self-emptying rumba. We absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Uh, ten out of ten. <laughs>